Hey everyone, what is up and welcome yet again to another exciting edition of Silent Fields Never wait, never wait a walkthrough of Kingdom Hearts Alright, as you can see, there's another planet that we could go to, however, we are going back to Traverse Town I know, surprising, huh? And of course, once again, I have set up everything Well, actually, okay, in this video, it's a few uh, new things that have become available uh, Since we've got the... Uh, thunder magic so that is what I'm gonna do is take care of those in this video um, I'm not actually going to the next planet yet or the new planet yet um, so yeah I'm going back to Traverse Town first and then I'm actually going back to Wonderland I know huh hey hey all right so here we are at Traverse Town and we're gonna get off at the magician study and it is 7 18 a.m. right now and I know most of you are probably thinking hey cool I woke up at a decent time thing is, I never went to sleep. I'm still awake all night long. <laughs> uh, whatever. Anyway, okay, so uh, in here, go to the third district. Uh, kill some of the enemies in here if you'd like. I am, of course. Uh, but also because I was trying to find the area where I need to go to. I hope that doesn't skip because it's kind of lagging right there for me. Anyway, you'll see this little uh, wire right here. What you need to do is uh, examine it and... Uh, as you can see, there's quartz sticking out of the pipe, so cast a thunder on it to get it charged up and working again. Now, it might be kind of difficult to know where this goes exactly, but where you need to go to actually is the gizmo shop, which I completely cut out and just skipped right to it, as you saw. And here you'll see a switch right there, a switch over there in the corner, and another switch over there in that corner. Um, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is just get up and uh, step on all three switches. And that will unlock something else. And of course in the gizmo shop there's going to be a lot of enemies again as always. So yeah here are some of the enemies and I'm just going to kind of uh, head over to the second switch. Step on that one. And I'm just going to speed it up a lot right now. And it is lagging a lot on my side um, hopefully after it renders and everything it'll look all fine and dandy um, but yeah just kill I killed all the enemies in this room plus you know it'll help with your leveling up of course uh, but just hop up top this third one and go to the third switch and you should hear that little chime that means that it unlocked something uh, but like I said go ahead and kill all the enemies first if you like which I pretty much did and you'll see this clock right here go over to it examine it and this is what the those switches unlocked is this clock thing and it's stuck at 654 does it have a meaning to it nope but examine it and you'll get two postcards it should be two let me check uh postcards postcards oh 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 wait yep there they are right there two postcards yeah so it gives you two new postcards so of course you know what you can do with those is take them to the mailbox but there's actually something else in Traverse Town that we can get right now, uh, which I am going to take you to. So go ahead and leave the gizmo shop and head back into the second district. And hopefully you remember where the uh, Dalmatian's house is at. Like I said, I'm going to speed this part up real quick too, but it's really just jumping down and making a left and going straight down this alley and going into the Dalmatian's house. Because you should have saved enough Dalmatians in order to get your first prize. Like I said, you have to be following my guide in order to have enough Dalmatians to save. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get things as they come along, or as they become available in the game. So even if I have to go back to a few places, I just want to make sure I get everything as soon as possible. That's just the type of person I, li or I am, and that's what I like doing. Alright, so here is the first little present from Pongo and Perdita. Perdita? Anyway, uh, it's a Kiraga G, which is part or a part for your gummy ship. Uh, I think it is an upgrade to your cockpit. I think it is. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. But as you see, I skipped right to the item shop here. I'm just going to get a few more items. Or at least just to restock some items. Uh, potions, as you see, I have a stock of 9. And so I'm going to make that 10. You know, I don't really worry about uh, Sora's and Goofy's. A uh, high potion, stock of 4. I'm going to make that 5. Ether is, I'm going to make that a stock of three, and yeah, that should be it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here, and then go back to 
the uh, mailbox to mail off those two extra postcards that I got from the clock not too long ago. Well, it was kind of long ago, but, you know, I kind of cut some stuff out and sped some stuff up, so, uh, yeah, not too long ago. And you'll get that thing, that rich color, or whatever it is. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about that later. But after you do that, that's really all there is to do in Trevor's Town for now. Um, now we're going to exit the world and head back to uh, Wonderland. Uh, because there are a couple of things to get in Wonderland as well. So go ahead and select it and, of course, fly over there. I wish I already had the warp piece just so I don't have to keep on doing this stuff. But you know what? It's okay because, you know, we right now we need as many parts to the gunships as we can get. Um, and, of course, after this Wonderland is where the video is going to end. And, like I said, I kind of already created the ship I wanted to make. Myself, like I said, it's kind of the cheap way of doing things with the gummy ship, but hey, it works. So I'm going to show that probably in the next video. Okay, here's the Queen's Castle is where we're going to exit off at. And we're going to head over uh, into, what was it called, what was it called, what was it called? Uh, Lotus Forest, I believe it was. So uh, I'm going to, of course, save uh, in my backup file because once again, I am recording this right now of course so anytime remember I advice for you all let's players anytime you save while you're recording always save it to a backup file just in case something happens to your recording and you won't uh, have to worry about missing a lot of stuff and blah 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 anyway but yeah see Lotus Forest uh, like I said in that mushroom video uh, a couple videos or a few videos back uh, these mushrooms will appear in Lotus Forest in Wonderland and like I said it's every now and then um, so, of course, always try to do the same spell on uh, each mushroom, you know, for three times. Uh, don't make it different Fire. spells, because you'll get more experience or tech points, really. Um, and then you can see the light above it, you just cast uh, lightning, and that's what helps that. And of course, here I completely screwed up on that one, but oh well. Uh, this, I think I tried to work on doing the lightning. Uh, but then I think it disappeared. Does it disappear? I'm not entirely sure. Yup, nope. I got it. And got a Thunder Jam. Yay! And that one does disappear because it took too long. But, oh, right. So here I was kind of a little lost. Like, where do I go? Where do I go? I don't really know. I don't really remember. Was it up here? But actually it wasn't up here. It was down here on those uh, lily pads that we raised uh, whenever we first visited Wonderland. Go over here. And if you remember, there's these little uh, flowers kind of hanging in an arch. Um, one of our friends said, uh, yeah, that wasn't. Okay, uh... Now, lock onto them. Okay, you're going to have to probably change locks, because every time I try to lock onto it, it's locked into that big flower first. So, change uh, the locking deal. And uh, it says shock me. So, oh, I have to get back onto it. Hold on. Okay, so get your thunder thing and shock it. And it'll, they'll all glow, and they'll uh, put down the chest. Open the chest, and you'll get a shell G, which is a armor piece, of course, for your gummy ship, which would be really good. Okay, and then we are going to do that one more time, actually, with another uh, deal. Another little uh, flower arch deal uh, in Wonderland. I probably could have just sped this part up instead of just kind of walking around. But you know what? It's all right because this video is going to be kind of short. You know, just above, what, 11 minutes, I think it is. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of happy about the 15-minute mark that they set it to now instead of the 10-minute mark. The only thing that... I don't like is that it still takes forever or even longer to upload like it takes over an hour now for my videos to upload uh, especially because of the high quality or high def well it says high definition but you know I'm using one of those old TVs you know with big backs and everything so you're pretty much getting more of a high quality setting than a high definition setting but oh well that's cool I guess uh, now in here you'll want to well, of course, you have to kill the enemies first, or else you won't be able to go to where you want to go. But I'd say stay on the painting, and then have it set to examine the next. As soon as your menu turns blue, hit examine, go into the painting, and you'll uh, end up back in Lotus Forest in this, you know, the little hidden area. So, shock the flowers again. Go up to the chest. Uh, what can I, okay, and open it. And you'll get a Thundarogy. 
Thundar Jerry. Uh, well, you know, get me peace, of course, as always. Uh, my neck hurts. Uh, cry. Anyway, okay, so that is actually it for Wonderland and Traverse Town for right now. Um, I know I probably could have put the or fit the gummy ship building into this, but nah, it's all right, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and exit. Well, go to the save point and of course save. And in the next video, I am going to show you what I did to my uh, gummy ship. If it did save the gummy ship. If not, then I can just go ahead and rebuild it. I kind of know what I did. Um, it's not going to be anything fancy or pretty or whatever. Because you know, I don't really care about that. I just care about getting through the gummy ship stuff. Uh, because I honestly hate the gummy ship parts in this game. That's probably the one thing that I absolutely hate about this game is the gummy ship parts. But um, So we're going to go ahead and save it. And... I guess I will go ahead and talk to you all in the next video, everyone. I hope you're enjoying my Kingdom Hearts narrative walkthrough. And, uh, blah.